Hello everybody, uh, just another little video. I've been concentrating on plastics recently. I suppose there's a bit of nostalgia in there and uh, I'm enjoying doing them actually. I uh, have not quite finished these Boer War Highlanders and British Infantry yet. I uh, got enthused for the uh, the Great Boer War recently uh, with a well, a documentary that I watched on YouTube, and um, I'd had the previous Strelets, uh British Infantry Boers, and uh, Highlanders, and uh, the new set is, uh, you know, like a quantum leap forward, really. Um, the the mouldings are so so much better. Uh, the the previous ones I did paint them up, uh, completed them all, but uh, they were fairly crude. As you can see, these these have got a fair amount of detail. Um, I've actually, as I say, not finished them. I'm I'm kind of blocking in the colours at this point, uh, trying to uh, oh, trying to focus them unsuccessfully, but. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm going to go with Black Watch and uh, Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. Uh, I've got a family con connection with the the Argyles, um, and also King's Royal Rifle Corps, the only regiment there that uh, that uh, served with uh, black or very dark brown. I think it was black. Um, webbing so uh, to try and mix them up a little bit uh, as I say compared with the old strelets which you can actually see on plastic soldier review um, these are uh, a big big advance on that um, I picked up a couple of books I, I actually um, will show them at a later date but I picked up uh, Volume one and two of with the flag to Pretoria from uh, eBay uh, for seventeen pounds, and they're in fairly good condition. They've got a couple of maps in there. They were slightly torn, of course, but uh, they're published in nineteen hundred and nineteen oh one, respectively. And um, you know, it's all very, uh, I suppose you'd call it jingoistic, but it's uh, you know, it's very much on the British perspective. Um, you know, understandably, and uh, two 120-year-old uh, books, which I'm quite pleased with, you know. Um, other books that I purchased were, obviously, I, I'd, I'd had some previous uh, uh, experience with uh, some of the uh, Strelitz figures, and uh, I'd already got uh, part two of the Boer Wars, which... Uh, you know, is is the one that can that I'm most concerned with the Great Boer War of eighteen ninety nine, uh, nineteen oh one, and um, the other one which I I needed to get, I was um, having a bit of trouble with the uh, tartans of the specific regiments, so I've I've wound up, as I say, uh, with the Argyles because my uh, grandfather on my father's side was with them. And um, also the the other one, um, I, I went with the Black Watch, which uh, has got a very similar tartan. Um, it actually states it's um, very similar to the Argyles. But nevertheless, two, I, I think virtually every regiment or one cavalry regiment served um, in this war at some point. Uh, and I've been very, very pleased with how they uh, have been coming along. Um, the green at the moment for the kilts is far too light, and I'm going to amend that. I mean, it's either going to be uh, toned down with the final um, Agrax Earthshade or similar, which is going to uh, tone it all down. Um, the, the other thing that I did was to um, to purchase... I'm, I'm afraid of a bit of a state with the table, not much room here. Sorry about that, professional to the last. Um, I got the last stockade 
and um, I haven't built the stockade or the accessories, but uh, I have done the uh, the figures, the uh, Native Indians or Native Americans. I uh, I turned the American infantry into British infantry, um, the French infantry, bearing in mind a lot of uniforms came from France into uh, two French regiments. Um, sorry, one French regiment in the white and um, a New York regiment and uh, I think it was a New Jersey. I had them. And the two figures in green are New York provincials fighting with the British. Uh, the chap there with the scalp. Uh, these are figures are very reminiscent of the last of the Mohicans film. Um, I took the cavalry, which were British 17th Dragoons, and um, turned them into, uh, well, I kept one section as British Dragoons and the other um, identical uh, figures, but uh, I turned them into a, uh, I think it was a Philadelphia Association uh, regiment for the, uh, for the Americans. Um, I've been been quite pleased again at how they turned out. I mean, they're not top level painting or anything, but I'm quite pleased what I've attained or achieved rather from uh, you know I always used to struggle with uh, cleaning these figures up, uh, even with sort of surgical uh, scalpel quality uh, knives. I, I used to really find it difficult to get them cleaned up, but these cleaned up quite well. Um, the the only other thing I've got to show you really, and uh, 